How to prevent sepsis. Sepsis is a potentially fatal condition that occurs when your body's response to infection, releasing certain chemicals into the bloodstream to fight the infection, leads to an inflammatory response. It can cause organ damage, eventually leading to multiple organ failure. Although anyone can develop sepsis, it is most common in the elderly, those with compromised immune systems, and infants or young children. Proper hygiene is important to prevent sepsis. It can also be prevented by cleaning wounds quickly to prevent infections from developing. As sepsis can be life-threatening, it's important you make an effort to prevent sepsis in your day-to-day -day life. Preventing sepsis in adults. Wash your hands regularly. One of the most important means to control sepsis is regular hand washing. If you wash your hands throughout the day, especially after handling food or going to the bathroom, you can greatly reduce your risk of infection. Avoiding infection in the first place means you can avoid sepsis. To start, you should wet your hands under warm, clean, running water. Then, add some antibacterial soap. Lather your hands thoroughly, making sure to get under your fingernails, between your fingers, and the backs of your hands. You should spend at least 20 seconds scrubbing. To help keep track of time, try humming the Happy Birthday song twice. Rinse your hands completely under running water and dry them off with a clean towel. To start, you should wet your hands under warm, clean, running water. Then, add some antibacterial soap. Lather your hands thoroughly, making sure to get under your fingernails, between your fingers, and the backs of your hands. You should spend at least 20 seconds scrubbing. To help keep track of time, try humming the Happy Birthday song twice. Rinse your hands completely under running water and dry them off with a clean towel. Clean all wounds quickly, even minor cuts. Sepsis starts with an infection that eventually gets into your bloodstream, so clean all wounds thoroughly. This can prevent an infection from occurring. Even minor cuts should be cleaned as this reduces your risk of sepsis. Wash your hands before cleaning the wound, then clean the wound under running water. You can also use an alcohol-free wipe. Make sure not to use an antiseptic, as this can irritate the skin. When you're done cleaning the wound, pat it dry with a clean towel or paper towel. You should apply an adhesive bandage or sterile gauze to the wound. Change your dressing regularly as the wound heals. If your wound has a foreign object embedded in it, seek medical care. A foreign object can cause an infection and should be removed by a medical professional. Wash your hands before cleaning the wound, then clean the wound under running water. You can also use an alcohol-free wipe. Make sure not to use an antiseptic, as this can irritate the skin. When you're done cleaning the wound, pat it dry with a clean towel or paper towel. You should apply an adhesive bandage or sterile gauze to the wound. Change your dressing regularly as the wound heals. If your wound has a foreign object embedded in it, seek medical care. A foreign object can cause an infection and should be removed by a medical professional. Talk to your doctor about potential vaccinations. If you are elderly or immunosuppressed, you are more prone to sepsis. It may be a good idea to talk to a medical professional about potential immunizations against certain diseases. Potential vaccinations include vaccines against the flu, pneumonia, and varicella zoster virus. If you're at an increased risk for sepsis, contact your doctor and discuss which vaccinations would be right for you. Guard against infections in a hospital. You are at an increased risk for infections and sepsis in a hospital setting. If you're going to be in a hospital for a long time, take measures to protect yourself from infection. Talk to your doctor about how to prevent infections, and let them know if you have any health conditions that may make infections more likely. Wash your hands regularly while at the hospital, especially after using the bathroom. Visitors, doctors, and nurses should all wash their hands when entering the room. If you use a catheter or drainage tube, make sure it does not become dislodged. If it does, let a nurse or doctor know right away. Discourage people who are sick from visiting you in the hospital. Talk to your doctor about how to prevent infections, and let them know if you have any health conditions that may make infections more likely. Wash your hands regularly while at the hospital, especially after using the bathroom. Visitors, doctors, and nurses should all wash their hands when entering the room. If you use a catheter or drainage tube, make sure it does not become dislodged. If it does, let a nurse or doctor know right away. Discourage people who are sick from visiting you in the hospital. Take steps in your day-to-day -day life to avoid infections. Sepsis starts as a simple infection. A good way to avoid sepsis is to avoid infections altogether. In your daily life, try to avoid infections. Be safe when preparing your food. Keep kitchen counters clean, and always wash them thoroughly after handling raw foods such as eggs, fish, chicken, beef, and pork. Don't forget to wash your hands, too. Always cook meat to a safe temperature. 
ground meats should be at least 160 degrees Fahrenheit 71.1 degrees Celsius, and poultry should be 165 degrees Fahrenheit 73.9 degrees Celsius, and all other meats should be 145 degrees Fahrenheit 62.8 degrees Celsius. Avoid sharing personal items, like toothbrushes, razors, and combs. If you travel, ask your doctor about any special vaccinations you may need. If you're sick, stay home until your symptoms pass. Be safe when preparing your food. Keep kitchen counters clean, and always wash them thoroughly after handling raw foods such as eggs, fish, chicken, beef, and pork. Don't forget to wash your hands, too. Always cook meat to a safe temperature. Ground meats should be at least 160 degrees Fahrenheit 71.1 degrees Celsius, and poultry should be 165 degrees Fahrenheit 73.9 degrees Celsius, and all other meats should be 145 degrees Fahrenheit 62.8 degrees. Avoid sharing personal items, like toothbrushes, razors, and combs. If you travel, ask your doctor about any special vaccinations you may need. If you're sick, stay home until your symptoms pass.